In Kenya's Ewaso Ngiro North Catchment Area, water, energy and food security are at risk due to droughts, deforestation and a growing population. The Ewaso Ngiro North River Basin stretches from Mount Kenya's highlands to the dry, arid regions covering areas north and west of the mountain and extending to the Abadar Ranges. It comprises of 10 counties, including Wajir, Mandera, Laikipia, Isiolo, Marsabit, Samburu, Nyeri, Nyandarua, Meru, and parts of Garissa, covering about 210,000 square kilometers, roughly 36% of Kenya's total area. The Stockholm Environment Institute, in collaboration with Partners Center for Training and Integrated Research in ASL Development, CETRAD, MERTI Integrated Development Program, MyDP, and the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research, PIK, and the National Drought Management Authority, NDMA, conducted training to equip water and energy county officials with SEI's WEEP and LEAP tool to address these challenges. Uh, as SEI Africa, we are implementing a project on the West Nexus to promote ecosystem-based adaptation in Western Europe north catchment uh, area in Kenya. Uh, what is WEF and what is the nexus all about? So the nexus is just the interlinkage between water, food and energy, which are very key and fundamental uh, sectors in the Western Euro, since most, if not all of the uh, inhabitants of the Western Euro depend on water, depend on food, on agriculture, and also depend on biomass for their livelihood. The approach of the, the, the Lexus, that water, energy, and food, is quite important because we want to bring together all these sectors so that they work together, and in that way, we can ensure that the resources are used sustainably. At SEI, we are bringing science into practice and into policy. As part of the practice part, we are building capacity in uh, for the county governments as well as the other key stakeholders like the RUAS, the Water Resources Association, to help them in knowing how this web nexus interconnects. And, and also, as part of this, we are training them on using uh, SEI web uh, modeling uh, toolkit. LEAP and WEP are user-friendly software tools for integrated energy, climate, and water resource planning. So we've been having uh, training on the software, that is the uh, WIP and SLIP, which covers uh, water and energy and are able to be synergized uh, to give results. LEAP, the low emissions analysis platform, is a powerful and versatile software system for integrated energy, climate change mitigation and air pollution abatement planning. Uh, this training is about uh, energy modeling, especially in protection energy efficiency, demand and supply, either national-wide, county-wide or in whatever region it is. So it's a tool, it's a modeling tool and it's using scientific approaches in projecting the demands of energy. This modeling will be able to help us to, to plan for the county. Water evaluation and planning combines demand and supply side factors to simulate water systems. One of our challenges we have today do we have sufficient water, not just for farming, but for all uses? In the counties, we have very many changes. Like, for example, we have population increasing, and even with the increase in population, we expect that we should be able to develop future scenarios, and the tool, the WIP tool, will be of great importance in predicting development. These versatile platforms support decision-making for sustainable development worldwide. This training in Samburu County is the second in a series, following the initial training held in May 2024. The first one was to introduce them to these tools, and then the second one was now to go hardcore into how uh, they can use these tools. This is our second training. We look forward to the third training and the fourth training. Some of the key lessons are that the softwares require specific data. Some of the data is readily available uh, because it also feeds into the national uh, 
data, data sets. However, there are also very specific data, especially which are being gotten from the various county integrated development plans. It's a tool that is going to be quite useful in my work uh, because issues of enough and sufficient water are very, very, very key. By applying the Nexus approach and utilising SEI's tools, the project aims to create a more sustainable and resilient future for the Ewaso Ngiro North Catchment Area. I, I really liked the session and the trainers. They were, uh, they were very thorough on explaining how we should use it. We were really impressed by the facilitators. They are knowledgeable about the modeling tools. We are also looking forward to the entire country starting to use the modeling tools for planning because that's the way to go. We need data for planning. We are looking forward to the next training, which is going to be the big validation workshop. And now we can show them, okay, these are your results. Are they the true representation of what is happening on the ground?